in that what what, is it, what have we got oh Stephen Lewis knew it um, let's get a cranking guys you know what to do start clapping I need the love I need the energy for Stephen Lewis Where are we all doing? Pretty good. So it's been a tough couple of weeks. I've had a tough couple of weeks. I lost my dad. In Matalan. Not good. It wasn't good. Dog got run over. We had insurance, <laughs> third party fire and theft, so we just set fire to the dog. <laughs> we got paid out, it was good. Lost my job at Dyson. They've got it already. <laughs> that sucked, it did suck. <laughs> and um, I used to work in a bookshop for the blind. It was an eye opener. Wasn't feeling it, left. <laughs> Wasn't great. And I started reviewing books. I've got into reviewing books, and I reviewed one the other week. 50 things for single people to do. I thought it was wank. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and there was another one I reviewed as well. The best way to a woman's heart. Apparently, it's through the ribcage. <laughs> um, and I did lose my dad last year. I lost him. But he was great. I, I, I could ask him anything. When I was a kid, I could ask him anything. And I asked him one day about masturbating. And he said, you need to stop that, son. I said, why? It's distracting. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Put it away. Um, and he told, he told us one day about my Uncle Brian. He said, uh, he said, your Uncle Brian can tell you when you're going to die. And me and my sister were like, hey, is he a clairvoyant? How is he? Apparently he's a hitman. <laughs> he did. And my dad he used, to, he used to always do the cooking, my dad, every night. Every single night, we'd go curry and rice. All the time. And I used to always struggle breathing. So I went to the doc... <laughs> I went to the doctors. Turns out I was basmatic. <laughs> yeah. I've just got back, just got back from Japan. I was in work. I was in Japan for work. And uh, I had a translator. It's a bit awkward, because I identify as on time. Mm. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> that's a new one. We'll be leaving that one out next time. Um, and I went and gave blood in Rochdale the other week. Well, got stabbed. <laughs> Bled out over the curb, it was. And uh, there was a guy earlier, homeless guy, looked pretty sad. So I thought, I'll tell him a joke. I told him a knock-knock joke. So are you taking a piss? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this um, fella died the other week near me, drinking his morning coffee. Drinking his coffee in the morning. So Missy said it's fine, it was instant. Fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And uh, I grew up in Oldham and there's a farmer up in Oldham and he managed to grow a field full of anal beads. He did, he did really well. Literally had him coming out of his ass. <laughs> did really well. He did, he did. <laughs> Farmer next door, he managed to go a field full of dildos. <laughs> Biggest problem he had was squatters. 
Right, thanks for listening. Cheers. <laughs>